Hello everyone, Scott Hendrickson. Okay, this is the second part of the video on how to extract spectrostrobe and bring it into Mind Workstation uh, to use it as part of another session or loop it or what have you. So we created the file out on our desktop and we're going to import it now. Now, you don't import it as a regular sound file. You can, but the thing is, is that it won't really be recognized as spectrostrobe if you have uh, the casino hooked up and what have you. It'll filter it out. Okay, my workstation, the way that we've programmed it for the uh, spectrostrobe handling will filter out those higher signals so that they don't collide. So I've had Adam put in a special command to do this. It's under the import menu and it's called import spectrostrobe audio. So you want to go to your desktop. All right, now see, going to give you the mess. Importing spectrostrobe automatically disables spectrostrobe filtering and changes other spectrostrobe settings for this session. You can view these features yourself under settings, I just spelled wrong, settings, session settings, and telling you where. That's okay. So there it is. It looped it automatically, by the way. So what he's saying is that under settings, session settings, spectrostrobe, there's these options. Disable audio filtering used to create a clear signal. That's that filtering that I was talking about that. If you bring in any kind of other audio file, it's going to disable it. It's got filtering on it if you're going to do a uh, spectrostrobe. We want to disable it because we want to keep the spectrostrobe. All right. Add spectrostrobe reference signal even if no spectrostrobe track exists. So that's going to always put in the reference signal and because this is an audio track and not a spectrostrobe track, right? Not a spectrostrobe tone track. That's what it means. Add the reference. We took out the reference. That's why we took out the reference. So that we could have my workstation add it back in. And loop it. See, if I'd left the reference in and tried to loop it, there's likely going to be breaks in the reference signal. You don't want that. You want a solid, solid reference signal. So this will add it to it. Um, we're not going to disable anything and leave everything else as it is. Those are those options. You need to know a bit about that uh, because it was, a, again, a special implementation that was done for this very reason, to be able to treat spectrostrobe as audio that we import. So under import, import spectrostrobe audio. That is in contrast to insert my machine's spectrostrobe. You, you can't really do that now. You don't want to put in another spectrostrobe track unless you know for a fact that the color channel, for instance, like let's say this was heavy blue. I knew this was all blue in, in the spectrostrobe audio. Then I could go in and insert a uh, spectrostrobe track of another color, green, for instance. If I did that, it adds a reference signal, okay? As the content here, anytime you add one of these tracks, a, a reference signal is added. In that case, you would want to go under Session Settings, Spectrostrobe, and turn this checkbox off. Because now the reference signal would come from that other Spectrostrobe track. Now, that was because in the case of we knew that the colors wouldn't clash. What that means is that if you did put another red spectrostrobe track in and you already had a high volume or high brightness red inside this audio track, then you would over um, amplify 
the spectrostrobe red channel and you'd get noise you'd get pops in the signal so that's where you have to exercise a, a bit of uh, caution and know what you're doing um, in importing these types of signals all right so this went ahead and automatically looped it uh, I don't have the casino hooked up at the moment if you did you'd see the com casino commands at the top here um, here you would just go through and just play and you want to uh, adjust your loop delays and stuff like that to try to get the best effect again this video is not particularly about how to uh, extract that audio to make it a perfect loop uh, that's a very detailed topic and um, I'm going to leave that up to the user and we'll see how it goes I would suggest to this user to get a longer section of the audio if it looked like to me just going back to that audacity file this one that if I zoomed out a bit see that effect repeats for a long time you're going to be easier off and they look to be relatively similar if not exact you'd be better off to get several loops of this and then attempt your loop that's what I would suggest just getting one it's going to be a little bit problematic now I grabbed in the middle which was a mistake I, I can see from zooming out I should have grabbed a whole section like that so that's just something that um, from the zooming you'll figure out and again I was just more concerned about the detail of how to do it rather than specifically uh, making a perfect loop so that's how you do it now that now you've got this as the spectroscope as audio it names the track spectroscope audio so you will know a reference signal is present because of the session settings that it added it there uh, I went over about adding other tracks and such it won't be filtered out and when you export your session that spectroscope will be kept so now you could go in and add it to your session loop it as long as you want like right now it's looped for 30 minutes uh, one final note before I go spectroscope especially behind closed eyes uh, sometimes the effects that we see are in context of other effects okay so this was at the start of the session so I think the user will get the blue kind of tunnel effect that he wants now had it been in the middle of a session it may not be exact if you pulled it out you may not get that same effect because leading up to that point in the session it's like your your mood and your um, perceptions were pre uh, loaded you know they were uh, primed to look at that effect so if you remove that effect out of its context you may not get the same impression but I do think since this was at the start of the session the user will get what they desire so anyway I needed to explain a lot so rather than write a forum post it was better to do this in video I hope this helps ask more questions if you need to but that's all for now. This is Scott Hendrickson with My Place. Have a great day.